Hey, our friends here are Dress Schnauzer. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker or something to draw with. They don't have to draw with a marker if they don't want to, right? Yeah. And some Pape. paper. Let's draw our Schnauzer's eye and we're gonna draw it up here in the top left of our paper. We're gonna draw a circle and we don't wanna draw it too big because we need room for his whole body. So we're gonna draw it right about here, about that big. Then we're gonna color it in, but you wanna leave a little white spot so that his eyes look shiny. Now we're gonna draw his other eye and we're gonna draw an oval just to the left of the first one we drew. So not a circle, we're gonna draw an oval up and down and then we can color in the bottom also and leave the top part white. Now we're gonna draw our Schnauzer's nose. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down from the left eye. Yeah. Now that's his snout. Now we're gonna draw his nose. So right at the end, we're gonna draw a straight line. Go straight across. That's for the top of his nose. And then the bottom part, we're gonna draw a V to connect it. Good. Now schnauzers always look like they have beards and mustaches. So we're gonna first draw a V or an upside down V. We're gonna draw it at the bottom of his nose, upside down V. So we can start here, go up to his nose, and then back down. Yeah, and then one on the other side. Then we're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down from his nose and connects to the bottom of his mouth, the left side of his mouth. So we'll start up here, draw a zigzag that comes around and connects down to the bottom. Now we're gonna draw his mustache on the other side. We're gonna draw a zigzag that comes up the side of his cheek and goes towards his eye. And look how my zigzags start big and then they get small towards the end. Your schnauzer face is gonna be awesome. Now let's draw his beard in the middle in between all of these lines. So we're gonna draw a little zigzag that comes down like this. It looks like a lightning bolt. Up and then back down. Yeah, you can even go down further. There you go. Now let's go back up and into the side of his face. So go up and then back down and then back up. Yeah, he looks awesome. Now over their eyes, they look like they have really bushy eyebrows. So we're gonna draw more zigzags. Watch this. We're gonna come out of his eye and draw, it almost looks like a sun going all the way around his eye, like a sunburst. Yeah. Yeah, you draw zigzags that go all the way around. Good, now let's draw the same thing on the other side. We're gonna draw, it looks like a sunburst for his other eye. <laughs> they have really cool eyebrows. And then come down into his cheek, into his nose. Good, now we're gonna draw the top of his head we're gonna draw a line that comes out of the side and then connects to his other eyebrow. What should we draw next? His ears. His ears? Okay, we're gonna draw two V's. One over this eye, we're gonna draw a big V, and then one over the other eye, another big V. That's where his ears flopping over. Yeah, now at the top of this V, on the left side, we're gonna draw a line that goes over the V and then down into his head. And then down, yeah. And then let's draw a line over here to connect the V into his head also. And then right here, look at this, on the right side of the V, we're gonna draw another line that goes down. And that's an easy way to draw his ears flopped over. Perfect. Let's repeat those same steps for his right ear. We're gonna start on this side, draw a line that goes over his ear and then connects down close to his eye. So it goes over the V and then down into his eye. Yes, and then we will draw that other line right there. Perfect. Now let's draw the back of his neck. We're gonna start on his ear and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down. Now let's draw the front of his neck. And we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that starts right here and then curves down to there. I'm gonna also add another line for his cheek. I'm just gonna draw a little sideways V and you kind of already have it with your zigzag so you can leave that line off. 
Now let's draw his chest. And we're gonna draw a bunch of zigzags, watch this. And they're gonna be messy zigzag lines. Can you do that? Just draw a bunch of zigzag lines that come down to there. What should we draw next, Sauce? His legs. His legs? Okay, we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a line that comes down for the top of his leg, and then they have longer fur at the bottom of their leg. So we're gonna draw a couple zigzags, and they can be messy. Yes. Then we're gonna draw his little paw that comes down, around, and back up. Almost looks like a U. Yeah, now let's draw more zigzags on this side, but we're only gonna go up halfway. Now we're gonna draw, let's draw another line that comes in to finish that fur. There we go. Now we're gonna draw a line that comes up and into his body. Good. Now down here at the bottom, let's add two lines for his toes. Okay. What should we draw next, his other leg? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna repeat those same steps, but we're only gonna draw part of his leg because it's behind this first one that we drew. So we're gonna repeat the same steps, draw that first line, then we're gonna draw some messy zigzags for the fur, and we're gonna draw his toes for his feet. His toes and feet, his toes and foot. I like it. Now, what was the last thing that we did down here on the bottom of his foot? The paws. The paws, or the two toes. Two lines for his toes. We finished his two front legs. Now let's draw his belly. We're gonna draw another zigzag that goes underneath his legs. See how it goes from his chest between his legs and then starts curving up. So we'll start here, draw a zigzag that comes up to there. Yeah, now we're gonna draw a little curve it looks like an upside down U or a rainbow line. So we'll start here, draw a rainbow line. Then we're gonna draw his back leg. We're gonna draw more zigzags. Watch this, they're gonna come all the way back like this. And we don't wanna go past, see how we stopped our fur right here? So you could probably go right to there with more zigzag lines. And this way we can make sure that his foot is at the same height on our paper. So now we're gonna draw his paw. It's like a U shape, just like we did on his front leg. <laughs> and then we gotta add those toes, right? Let's add two lines for his toes. Now let's draw the back of his leg and we're gonna draw more zigzags, watch this. We're gonna draw more zigzags coming up and look how I'm matching. See how we're going forward with those zigzags? So we're gonna draw zigzags that come up to there. Next, we're gonna draw his back and we're gonna connect down into his back leg. So first we're gonna draw a line that comes back like this and then we're gonna curve down into his leg. Does that look cool? Yeah. Start here, draw a line, comes out to there and then curve down and connect. That's okay, you connected it to the front of his leg. Let's connect it back here to the back of his leg. So start right here and draw a curve that comes right through there. And that's okay, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. You know what? That line could... We could actually turn it into shorts. Or a robot. Oh, he could be a robot dog. That would be really cool. We're missing one of his legs. We need to make him look more 3D. So we're going to start right here. We're going to draw another zigzag just like we did for the front of his other back leg. So match the front. Yeah. And then that's a good spot to stop. And then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw his foot that comes down, around, and back up, just like we did over here. Good. And then you can just connect it into that back leg. Perfect. Let's add those two toes. All right, Austin, what's our schnauzer missing? His tail. He's missing his tail, and they have little short tails. We're just gonna draw a short line up, and then we're gonna draw a curve that comes back down. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our dogs, and they turned out super cool, except we need to do one last thing to make it look even cooler. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color them. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color.
All right, we did it. We finished coloring and I love your dog. I love how you added the t-shirt, dude. That was awesome. Super creative. That was your idea, wasn't it? Yeah. To color our schnauzers, we use gray, but we also left some white spots on his eyebrows, his face, and also on his paws. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring and even add your own details just like you. You could add pants, maybe even some shoes, and a hat. Oh, hat. <laughs> it's all hat. We hope you all have fun trying your schnauzer. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, because we want to see how awesome it turned out.